What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So today we are going to do a little product test. First we will unbox and then we will go try it out on the Tundra and over time I'll let you know if it is worth the $45.80 I paid for it. The other day I was watching the NASCAR race and I kept seeing a commercial over and over and over again and on about the third or fourth time I decided to buy it to give it a to give it a try. I know you guys like when I test out some cheaper stuff instead of just $8,000 superchargers and crazy expensive TRD parts all the time. So I'm looking forward to testing this out. This is the WeatherTech cup phone, okay? So obviously it's a phone holder that goes in your cup holder. Very excited to test this out. WeatherTech, um, they're known for their you know floor mats and everything. So they're getting into the game with the phone holders in the car. So I really wanna try it out. I don't know about you, but I've never been able to find a really good uh, phone holder for my truck at least. I had one that went in the cup holder and it just never worked right in the Tundra at all for me. Uh, it just wouldn't sit right in it so I'm really uh, anxious to test this thing out and see how it is. If you guys know of any good phone holders for the car or truck let me know. I would love to know and spread the word around to everybody. I'm not the only one that's had problems with uh, you know phone holders for the cup holder so hopefully WeatherTech uh, can make it happen. Like I said $45 80 cents for me. There was a little bit better of one that they offered too. There was actually two of them. I think the other one had an arm on it that it, you know, you can actually move the phone around when it was connected to it. But from what it says here, it fits into virtually any automotive cup holder. So we're actually going to do two tests today with that. We have the Platinum, of course. We're going to test it in there and make sure it fits in that cup holder. And then we're going to take it over to the Avalon, which if you're new to the channel, Toyota gave me the press vehicle. So I'm gonna try that out in that cup holder as well because it has two different sizes in it. So we're gonna see if it fits in all three of the cup holders that I have in my driveway right now. It also says, can be used in multiple vehicles or on your desk, great for rental cars, boats, RVs, and golf carts. Allows hands-free telephone calls and voice commands. Uh, made from durable, high quality plastic and a lifetime limited warranty right from WeatherTech. So. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. It says it fits most phones. I have an iPhone 10. Um, it's not the large one or anything, so it should fit no problem, but let's open it up and then we'll get out there and try it out. All right, here we go. So it looks like the receipt from WeatherTech there. And what I would think to be a very self-explanatory part right here comes in the plastic. Um, uh, feels pretty durable. feel like it could take a beating. Now I just gotta figure out how to work it. I'm guessing these slide out of each other uh, to fit your actual cup holder. So like I said, I had a one very similar to this, but it just never fit right into the cup holder on the Tundra. You would put it in and you would twist this thing where two arms came out and kind of held it in place and it just didn't work out. Um, also comes with a product catalog of all the other stuff WeatherTech offers. I actually use Husky liners uh, for my truck. I like those a lot. But uh, Husky does not offer this, so we figured we would give it a try. And then we also have what looks to be the instructions for everybody. So uh, it looks pretty self-explanatory to me. Let's get out to the truck and car and test it out now. All right, so here is the item. It looks like all these little cups come out until it fits into your actual cup holder. So it does have a lot of sizes, that's cool. All right, so we're gonna see which cup will work. So the biggest one, negative. We popped off big one here, one size down. It's getting there, but not all the way down. So we're gonna pop, there's a little hole here to pop everything up. That makes everything a lot easier. So right there, you just push through it and it pops it right out. Okay, will this fit? All right, this looks to be the one. So two cups in, it's sturdy, it doesn't move around a lot. And now we are going to fit our phone in it and see what it looks like. So there's a little wheel on the back here to adjust for the size of your phone. So just turn it and as you can see, it opens up and then you find whatever your phone will fit in. So we will try with mine. All right, you get it. Hold it in place right there. Tighten it up and that's it. Phone is in. You're actually seeing us right now on there. So that's cool. And now we are going to put it in the cup holder. So it's a nice cheap add-on for the Tundra and it's always nice to have the phone held 
without it moving around and that will be the test for the long term. We will see if the cup actually stays in the cup holder the whole time or does it shake itself loose. One thing I wasn't really a fan of was you could only put the phone in this way. There wasn't an adjustment to where you could do it that way. Um, so if you were using GPS and needed you know, the longer version of the screen, uh, I guess you can't do it unless there's something I haven't figured out yet. In the old one I had, it couldn't stay in the cup holder well, but you could also do the horizontal and the vertical. So, uh, but we will test it out. Like I said, 45 bucks, not that big of a deal. And now at least I can hold my phone. I'm not really a fan of those uh, phone holders that go on the vent. I don't really like the look of that, so I will test this and let me know if this is something you are interested in. Now, before you go, there's gonna be a little bonus footage. We're gonna go over to the Avalon now and test it out in there because that has two different size cup holders. So let's see if we could get that to happen over there as well. All right, here we are in the Avalon. So we got the small cup holder up front here that has like the, the holders in it to keep the cup from moving around. And we have the one that's not circular. So we're gonna see if it fits in both of these. I doubt this one, but we'll give it a try. So as you can see with this one, it won't really fit in the cup holder. I mean, it'll fit, uh, but because of the pieces in there that hold the cup for you, like your cup of coffee or soda or whatever, it kind of pushes the piece out a little bit. You could probably still use your phone in there, but you might get some rattle and shake. So uh, this is a no bueno right here, this one. It's funny because the one that won't fit here without it popping up will actually fit in here just fine. And it'll still move a little bit, but you could still use it, not terrible. All right, we're back inside. So this is something I'll continue to test and let you know if it shakes itself loose or anything like that. Um, overall, not a bad product, 45 bucks, like I said. Uh, and it, I guess it's adjustable to most cup holders, but if you have those little tabs in there that fold in when you put a cup in, you might wanna, you might wanna second guess yourself on that one and just not get one. Maybe get one of those clips for the air vents because I don't think it's gonna work and you probably won't be happy. And it is $45 and you don't wanna waste money, but overall, Phone fits in it good. Like I said, I wish it could go the opposite direction. Uh, ooh, almost dropped it. Is what it is, though. Let me know what you think. Is this is something that interests you? What are your thoughts? Twitter and Instagram, 1234. 1234gmail.com. You guys have a great night.